Hello, welcome to the show that is going to try again. Wait, we got it. Oh man, this game is such a pain in the butt to record. <laughs> welcome to the show that's recording a game that's a pain in the butt to record. It just came to me spontaneously. It's Nancy Drew, secret of the old clock. Look, we got to go golfing again. We solved all this nonsense last time. I still don't know what this is. Forget where you put the lot. Marcel's band, you old coot. So I still don't know what's going on with that. Get out of here. Come on back. So, but we got a golf ball out of it. And it told us to go golfing. So I guess we're going golfing. I hope I don't have to pay for it again because I'm just about broke. Here we go. I mean, oh, do I have to pay for it again or can I just go in? Ah, there's no way. Oh, look, they, they added something here on the right. See that? That wasn't there the whole time, was it? That wasn't hard. Was that there the whole time? Another safe deposit box key? Yeah, what's the deal with that? Okay. How do I get out of here? Left. Okay, let's go back to the bank. Oh, wait, wait. They're arguing in there. You've got to go talk to Emily. She's in a bad way. Did you tell her about the secret passageway I found? I never got the chance. Please, go talk to her. She won't listen to me. I'm no help at all. Yeah, we'll go talk to her. That, that, we got to calm Emily down. So I figured out I figured out why my last, my last session didn't record the game audio. So I, I fixed that. That picture hasn't moved, right? Yeah. I was going to record it again after I discovered that, but I thought, that's ridiculous. Why would I do that? But was I supposed to, like, just fake everything? Like, I, I, I don't do that. Just go back to River Heights, Nancy. But I think I know where the real will is. It doesn't matter. I can't run the inn anyway. I'm going to have to No, we're going to get your money. What do you mean? I took a nap after I got back from running errands, and when I woke up... This was in my hand. It's one of the necklaces that I thought had been stolen. I have no idea how it got there. I must do things and not remember. No. Nope. All this responsibility on top of losing mom. I can't cope with it. I'm having a, what Jean call it? Listen to breakdown. me. Emily, just listen to me. I don't want to talk anymore. Go home. You're just making things worse. <sighs> I don't want to talk to you. Look, you know how much money I spent on golf for you? Let's go let's go figure out this this um th what th what this keys for at the bank. I will have you know I've I've done this whole game without getting a flat tire. Our dad warned us about that. But I'm such an excellent driver. Nope. Oh, that cow's back. Ooh. Oh, you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. I was just bragging about it. <coughs> what, are the, what are the damn chances? Holy smokes. <sighs> no, you got you to gotta turn the screws first. Oh, you're supposed to turn the screws because if you would just rotate the damn wheel. Damn it! There. I hope I don't get another flat, but I better go to the gas station and get my spare fixed no. just in case. No. That was. That, I didn't plan that. That was. That was bullcrap. That cow hadn't been there all game except from the. Oh, where am I going to bank?
Come here, buddy. What's this for? Good news! I finally remembered who Marcel was. Josiah's hat! Can you believe it? He named his hat. Oh, did I already solve that clue? Yeah. Actually, I already knew that. Oh. So, what can I do for you? I found another safe deposit box key that belonged to Josiah. Impossible. Josiah only had one box, and you've already opened it. Can you tell me whose key this is? It is one of ours. Where did you get it? Don't I worry about it. I playing golf at Josiah's with a special ball. I had to ace one of the holes. Why does that sound familiar? I know why. That's what Clara always called me, her ace in the hole. That's who this key belongs to, Clara Pickford. Oh, so we're just going to open Clara Pickford's safety deposit box? So, Clara Pickford was really Josiah Crowley in disguise. Ah. Apparently, he loved playing tricks like that on people and hiding things right under their noses. The last will and testament of Josiah <laughs> Crowley. I wonder what this is. Gloria Dowd, now Crandall, and Jane Willoughby, circa 1912. Jane Willoughby? That doesn't look the least bit like Jane Willoughby. No, it certainly doesn't. I better get back to the Lilac Inn and have a talk with oh, her. Oh, I didn't see that coming. That's a, she's an imposter. Blocker, blocker, blocker. Crash. Move out of the way, would you please? I'm kind of in a hurry. No. You're not going anywhere until you tell me who you really are. What are you talking about? I just saw a picture of Jane Willoughby. The real Jane Willoughby. It's been swell knowing you, sister. I can't let Jane out of my sight. Oh! Car chase? What? I didn't even have a chance to start going. I can't let Jane out of my sight. Oh, come on. Se second chance. I'm going to get real mad here. I can't let Jane out of my sight. Oh, you can't. Oh, oh. I can't let Jane out of my sight. I'm gaining on her. I don't have any flat tires now either to play around with. No! I can't let Jane out of my sight. Okay, I got a little bit closer to her this time. I got a better start off the line. Looks like I might be a hair faster than her. Plus, I know her route. Where's she going down here? Left, right? No, no, no! Don't get stuck. No! We're just going around in circles. I hope it's I hope I have my gas full. I'll oh, please end this soon. This is too stressful for me. I bet she's heading for the state line. I know. I'll take a shortcut and hit her off. Take a shortcut and head her off? What are you talking about? Ah! Need a good start. Need a good start. I can't let Jane out of my sight. Got it. Man, I did not expect a car chase in an Nancy Drew game. I mean, these are 1930s cars. It's not like we're. What are we doing here? 15 miles an hour? Get stuck in this don't get stuck in the mud oh my goodness I'm gonna flip the damn table I can't let Jane out of my sight we oh okay we got her I think when she says uh we'll take a shortcut we can go our own way and get get up top there first Don't 
Get stuck in the mud. Don't get stuck in the mud. Say your line. I bet she's heading for the state line. I know. I'll take a shortcut and hit her off. Ah! Oh! What happened? Where do those cards come from? <laughs> I took it. I stacked all them pies up nice and neat. Why couldn't you just mind your own business? Dear Ned, I know you'll be home from school in a couple of days, but I couldn't wait to tell you. I just solved a mystery. I figured out that Emily Crandall's guardian was really an imposter named Marion, who intercepted the letter Emily wrote to Jane Willoughby after her mom died. So she I beat pretended it? to be Jane not only so she could steal Emily's valuables, but so she could convince Emily that she was incapable of running Lilac Inn and that she should sell it and split the money with her. On top of all that, I found Josiah Crowley's real will. In it, he left Emily so much money that she'll be able to hire all the people she needs to keep the inn going. He left Jim Archer a ton of money too, which means he won't have to close his bank. And from now on, he'll be able to buy his wife a new dress anytime he wants. As for Richard Topham, Josiah left him nothing. Although Topham still refuses to admit that he forged the first will and insists that he's going to contest the will I found, Dad says it's highly doubtful he'll succeed and that he'd be better off sticking to spoon tricks. Yeah, get wrecked, anyway, dude. when you get home, I'll give you all the details over a nice big piece of slightly damaged cherry pie. Wait till you hear that part of the story. As always, Nancy. Fanfare, hey, we beat it. Of course I stopped like 10 minutes before the end of the game. Oh, uh, whoa. Hey, I'm sassy. Do you guys know I'm sassy? Sassy. What title I get? Puzzle Pro for solving puzzles at lightning speed. Anything else? Great news, oh. I think. See, Frank and Joe Hardy have invited me to help them solve a mystery. Only this mystery takes place on a train. But not just any train. A train that was found abandoned years ago in the middle of nowhere. Ooh. All of its passengers had simply vanished. Interesting. Some people say the train is jinxed. Others say it's haunted. I mean, it'll be fun to finally get to work alongside the Hardy Boys. But I just hope the trip we're going on doesn't turn out to be, you know, one way. Frank and Hardy are invited to join Miss Lori Garrard for a journey aboard Hurley's Comet. I didn't get to read all that. Last train to Blue Moon Canyon. Is that what I got to play next? The next uh, Nancy Drew game? I like this game. It, it's frustrating for a lot of reasons that I won't go into. Some of the puzzles were easy. Some of them were a little clever. I had a lot of fun with it. I thought it was cool. All right. Let's see what this is. Nancy drew the entire series. Secrets can kill. Is that is that the first one? Why does it say one on it? Stay tuned for Dangerous 2. I've never heard of any of these games. Wait, where's seven? Nancy Drew Danger on Deception Island is nine. Where did ten go? This is the one I played. That's a good that's a really good game. If you never played that, that one's hard though. I'll tell you that. So maybe this is actually the twelfth game. And it's interesting because. The book and this game have really nothing in common except that someone left a will, someone he, that other will was hidden, are are not available, and it was for a, like a mother and a daughter, like in this one. But beyond that, uh, they didn't. I mean, you can't really turn that book into a, an adventure game. But these look kind of like I was thinking maybe these were too old, but this looks like our this looks like something I could play. Are these are these not good? I also like that Nancy Drews are a little bit spooky a lot of times. Like they have a little bit of creep factor to them. I don't know. I definitely want to play another Nancy Drew game. Um, 
I'll do some research and see if I'm going to go back here and start here. If I can find them. I didn't see them on Steam. Um, or if I want to go to the train one and just kind of pick up where I'm at. Anyway, if you're a, if you're a Nancy Drew aficionado, uh, I think I asked this in one of my videos before. You like Nancy Drew games, you know Nancy Drew games. What, what are the good ones? What are the bad ones? Should I skip some? Should I definitely check some out? For mystery fans 10 and up. Man, that would be... That game was not easy. Of course, I'm not that smart. But maybe maybe 10-year-olds are smarter than me, and I, that, that wouldn't uh, surprise me at all. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time on whenever Adventure Game comes up next. I think we'll do something modern next. Maybe come back to Nancy Drew. We'll see you there. Bye now.